Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer. Thank you for joining me for today's training tutorial on how to make a quiz in a Nearpod lesson. So as you can see, I'm in my Nearpod library. I have started a lesson here called Presidential Facts. So I'm going to hover over that and click on edit so I can add the quiz activity. When this opens, I'm going to click on add slide. From there, I'm going to click on activities and I'm going to select quiz. Quizzes are great ways to check for understanding, quick um, entrance or exit tickets, and meaningful data will be collected um, for you as a teacher at the end of the lesson when you generate a report. So I have um, question one out of one here. I'm gonna just go ahead and ask how many electoral college votes must a candidate receive in order to be elected as president of the United States? So I can add my answer choices here. I'm given two uh, answer choices by default, but I can add additional answers if I need to or if I want to. I could do true false or I can do uh, multiple choice with as many options as I want. So I'm going to put in my options here. Then I need to select the correct answer. And I can also drag and drop to reorder if I wanted to to reposition the correct response. If I want to add additional questions, I do so right here. I click on add question. If I need to delete a question for any reason, the delete button is over here on the far right hand side. So I can go ahead and delete that question. I have to have at least one question in my quiz. I can also title it up here on the far left. So I can say uh, president facts. It's going to be the name of my quiz. As with um, most of these activities here in Nearpod, I can add a timer to um, give students a specific amount of minutes and seconds that they have to respond to complete the activity. Uh, if I want to duplicate the question, I can go ahead and duplicate that question. As you can see here, I did that. I can also reorder the questions with these, this uh, simple drag to reorder interface, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that second question, and I can add additional media, video, or audio instructions. So when I am done, I'm going to click Save. It's very important to remember to click Save um, so that your work is not lost. Um, and I can also preview what that quiz will look like from the student perspective. Nearpod will generate a preview for me in the student preview. You can see that up here at the top in the middle, it says it's a student preview. And uh, again, you'll be able to get your students engaged in their learning, um, getting them involved in completing activities at various points throughout the lesson. They get this notification that they're about to take a quiz. They can make their selection and they get that immediate feedback. I will mention if there are more than, um, if there's more than one question in a quiz, which there will probably be, um, down at the bottom, you can't see it because this is only one question, but the students will have a next button at the bottom right. So you may just want to point that out to the students before they uh, partake in a quiz here in Nearpod. I hope this has been helpful and that you will give a quiz feature in Nearpod a try. Uh, please stay tuned for additional tutorials and I will see you soon.